We are so blessed to be here this morning. You know, today, 170 years of celebration of the arrival of the gospel onto this island of Faite. And for them, they are overwhelmed that people from afar have been able to come here and share in the spirituality of what this day means to them. You could see how jubilant they were, how happy they were that we were here. just witnessed a beautiful Catholic church. You can always snorkel, you can always dive, you can always do you know, special things on the boat, but to integrate with the people on the island and in this special way, even if you're not religious, if this comes up, if something like this, it's, it's an experience, it's an adventure, and it's something that you wouldn't normally ever see or be able to do. The arrival of Christianity to a lot of the islands in the Pacific, there was a lot of controversy at the time. Uh, there was tribal warfare, there was young chiefs trying to claim superiority over the rest of the island, and Christianity came along as a way of calming the people down. So when they came in at first, it was not accepted until the chiefs of the island started to understand how it was having a calming effect on their people, and, uh, and then finally it was accepted. They have put away their oral traditions and are focusing more on the Bible and on a gospel that is very foreign to them, but in a way that still pulls their families together. This is magical in that these people feel their music and they are just absolutely in, enveloped in it. And when the message that they're singing gives me the feeling that we're not alone, that God is out there. 